Hello, this is Kat for Blue Skies and Tamales and today we are in the art market. This is only on Sundays here in Mexico City. It's really close to Reformer Street and Insurgente Street and it's a place where artists come and show their paintings. You can buy some art supplies and sculptures. As you can see, uh, there are like paintings all over the place, I mean all around the place and you can find any style you want. They, they were selling art supplies there, um, here we can find some very colorful paintings. Some canvas. Gracias. More art supplies, notebooks, pencils, watercolors, paintings, and also some frames here. Here. One of the interesting th things about this park is that it adapts to like have many events on it. And a few years ago, this park was uh, like renovated, and as a part of the renovation design, they included a skate park, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, many, as many of you know or don't know, skateboarding is now. A sport and it was a sport now in the Olympics in Tokyo 2020 oh I think this is ready for it to be painted I just love coming to this market because it's just so full of people and so full of activity and art supplies and when I was younger I used to <laughs> I used to paint and I love uh, old paint I loved it so much and I really enjoy you know creating with my own hands even though I wasn't so good um, I still enjoyed it Oh, it's really nice to see how the whole family is trying to skateboard, like the dad, the mom, and the, the little kid. The two little kids, actually. I think since the, since the, since skateboarding is a, a sport, like a recognized sport, many people are trying it out, and I think that's awesome. I really like it. I wish I had the infrastructure to learn when I was a kid, but I didn't. But I'm still learning how to rollerblade now. <laughs> oh, that's really colorful. I like it. It looks like like watercolor. In some sculptures here with some nice uh, organic shapes. I think this is uh, like watercolor, very vibrant colors. And some sculpture as a part of ceramic raku. It's, it's a Japanese technique. One thing to notice from here is that like artists uh, request to be part of the market and then they start selling their products, uh, you know, their art. You can find sculpture, paintings, uh, some drawings, 
uh, sometimes some stickers. <laughs> I really like that. I bought one from here, and it was like some like houses. In it looked like it looked like like a like a German scenery, uh, but it was only the outline in black, and I had to to. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I got distracted, uh, and I had to color it to make it more lively. Okay, let's see what's over here. You can see here painting. So colorful landscapes. Yeah, this type of landscapes reminds me of of, of a painting of a Mexican uh, a painter called Dr. Atul. I really enjoy art a lot, and I'm not like like a, like someone who knows a lot about art, but I enjoy art. I like appreciating the paintings and you know give my opinion when some, something likes <laughs> when I like something or not some watercolor beautiful watercolors here of the Mexican scenery like architecture and flowers You can see there is more over there, but I think I'm just gonna circle around so we can get to see everything. Today was actually a beautiful day. I think like a month ago I came. I came here, but it was so, it was Sunday, of course, because that's the day of the art market. But it was so rainy, so not many artists like had their paintings out. But today it was it's very beautiful. Some little watercolors. Some abstract painting. This is really beautiful. He says J. Enrique, maybe? And it's the two main volcanoes close to Mexico City. The Popocatépetl, which is this one, and the Iztalcíhuatl, this one. And this is called Paso Cortés. It's a historical uh, area. Some portraits with pencils. I'll see if I can get a little sticker again more paintings this is oil oil painting of beautiful landscapes oh, some, some very colorful paintings like it has kind of a Mondrian like colorful color scheme but not, not the shades, but the color scheme. So this is a great place to shop if you want to decorate your house, if you like your room or an office space, you just come here and support local artists. Oh wow, that's a big dog. chubby dog uh, hmm. let me see how I'm gonna do this uh, okay I think I'm just gonna circle around and then try to get into these areas yes hmm. okay let's go here
some landscapes, some like uh, scenes of the of Mexican towns and cities, very traditional. Some amazing like uh, photographs. like art pop I will say okay let's go let's go see this way some grabado I don't know carving would be in English I think so oh, I like this crocodile over there Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes. Bien, gracias. ¿Qué tal? Este, este, este. Sí. Ah, okay. Gracias. Oh, you can see some faces like hidden in in there, like that one. Yeah. Ah, gracias. Oh, he's really nice. Let's see what's here. Mm. Oh, some drawings, some geometrical shapes. Oh, sorry, I thought I was showing. Uh, some geometrical shapes. Let's see this one. Oh, wow, that, that looks very trippy. <laughs> Okay, let's keep walking. Um, <clears throat> some more paintings here. Okay, let's. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, it feels very quiet and peaceful in this area. And this is like some 3D painting, I guess. Yeah. Like Mexican scenery because artists like to represent that a lot. Uh, so work with some photograph hola que tal buenas tardes hola some more paintings over there um, a painting beautiful like naked painting some photograph I think this is really interesting in Mexico we often see people carrying things in their head but this person is carrying carrots it's the first time I see someone covering carrots. I don't know if he's in Mexico, but uh, it's an interesting situation that the uh, photographer captured. And the ones over here are the voladores de Papantla. They go up the way to the top, to the pole, and then they, they tie a rope on their uh, ankles, and they, they start descending, uh, you know, like uh, upside down, yeah. Oh, I, 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 quite, I quite like this, like chair uh, painting. Oh, 
Oh, very cute. Oh, she, I think she paints animals. That's really cute. Look at look at look at those little cute animals. Some more paintings here. Some grabados, I think. Wrestler mask. Okay, so the skate park is over there and we're just gonna continue this way, in the middle. Some realistic painting. Some, like, like fantasy, I would say. Or some sculptures. Some more paintings, like shapes, a lot of shapes, like regular shapes, colors. Yeah, the abstractions of of things. Like this one, I think is like the abstraction of of a tur like of the shape of a turtle. Many people are gathering here. Let's see what they're. <laughs> oh, nice uh, landmarks. That's the name landmarks. I always forget the word. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot a word in like, I don't know, in one of the <laughs> walking tours and I was like, what's the name, what's the name? But landmarks, yeah. One of the landmarks in Granada, here Mexico City, and, and of course the religious virgin. We can see an artist painting here right now. Some sculptures of the human body. Is 
es bronca, es donde dicen artística. Todo esto es eh, proceso de la cera perdida. Carga las bases, esto es resina. Bueno, es madera con revestimiento de some pictures the Latino tower in, in the center and then we have this building that I forgot what the name is <laughs> but in the center too Juarez neighborhood and Rosh Hour in the Madero and Eje Norte intersection street photography. Buenas tardes. There is also an area for for the kids here. You know, if you come with your kids, nephews or uh, brothers and sisters they can get some fun here. Some more paintings here. We can see the artist painting and hanging out over there. Yep. What I like about here is that there is art for everybody. All the like artistic tastes. And here, in this part, there is a, a tianguis, which is like a temporary market, also on Sundays. And they sell all, like, uh, food, and veggies, fruits, other, like, uh, like supplies for the house, uh, like, pet accessories, and more things. It's really nice to come here, because people, like, uh, go to this market first, and then here, or the other, the other way around. Oh, this is very colorful. <laughs> I forgot to say that it's like 1 p.m., 1.30 p.m. It's a little bit hot, but not so hot, maybe. Hmm. It, maybe 23. No, like 26 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, sorry. Um, I, wasn't a, I wasn't so sure about filming here because I didn't know how the, you know, the artist will react, you know, by, because I'm filming. But I had some nice encounters, so that's nice. Uh, I didn't go too close because I don't want them to think that I'm here to copy their art because I'm not um, but yeah this gives me uh, the idea to make another tour again Some like art pop here. 
Ya no, ya no agarré ese dinero porque Iconic, Marlene. Mexican Feast with the bread and, and the eh, pambazos and the tamales and the beans and the chocolate and coconut, of course. And here, I want to show you, here there's a place called Huevitos y Hot Cakes, because in Mexico we call hot cakes to the pancakes. Um, it's nice to eat, to have breakfast cheap, nice. Nice. A shoe shiner! Oh, this is uh, the art market here in Mexico City. It's only on Sundays. And I hope you like the video. Um, I hope you like the video. Uh, subscribe. Uh, thumbs up. And see you in the next video. Bye.